And now people making a difference, a local mother's mission. She lost her 20-year-old daughter to ovarian cancer. But as KKL 9's Amy Johnson shows us, she's raising money and awareness so no other family will experience her pain. Here are the symptoms, and you need to be proactive. Paulinda Babini is a mom on a mission. It's so important for young women, particularly, to know the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. Her daughter, Robin, died almost 10 years ago from ovarian cancer. She was just 20 years old. Very, very rare. That's why when we went to the gynecologist, when she complained, she was 16. And he didn't even think about giving her a transvaginal ultrasound. It took months before a trip to the emergency room finally detected four tumors. There was surgery and chemo, but the cancer came back. It spread and ended Robin's short life. She suffered unbelievable suffering. I used to think, why wasn't it me? You know, why did it have to be her? And she was a kid. She was 20 years old. Four years after Robin's death, Paulinda formed the Ovarian Cancer Circle with 12 volunteers. She has made it her life's work to raise money for ovarian cancer research at UCLA and to educate young women about the disease that took her daughter's life. I truly believe if I had known the information that I know now, I would have been very proactive at her at the age of 16. The group holds two major fundraisers each year, take a bite out of ovarian cancer and happily ever laughter. We have uh, given Dr. Mamaris a day's lab to go discovery $300,000. Paulinda speaks about the disease each year at her nation's capital, at health fairs and schools, and she admits she loves explaining to strangers why she's wearing teal, the signature color for ovarian cancer awareness. I'll speak anywhere and everywhere to get the word out. Her efforts were recently recognized by Assemblyman Mike Gatto. This is my passion. This is my commitment. This is what I'll do the rest of my life. In Hollywood, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.